The 2012 Australian Open wrapped up with the number one player in the world, Novak Djokovic, taking on the world number two, Rafael Nadal, for the men's singles title. The head-to-head -head is in the Spaniards' favour, 16-13, but last year the pair met six times in finals with Djokovic winning each one. Nadal was looking to make a statement early. Nadal striking first, breaking the Djokovic serve to go 3-2 up. Djokovic got his opportunity to break back not long after, levelling the opening set at 4-all. Nadal was able to carry the momentum from there, breaking Djokovic to go 6-5 up. Despite Djokovic saving a couple of set points, Nadal was able to serve out the opening set, seven games to five. The second set was following a similar pattern to the first, with some long rallies keeping the crowd on the edge of its seat. But Djokovic was making the running, breaking the Nadal serve to take a 3-1 lead. The Serbian was racing away with the set, getting out to a 5-2 lead and having a set point, which Nadal saved, and he continued to pile on the pressure. But Djokovic wasn't going to be denied, breaking the Nadal serve again to level the match at one set all. The third set belonged to the Serbian, breaking Nadal to go to a 3-1 lead. It was a dominant display from the world number one, breaking again to take the set six games to two. The match extended into its third hour at the beginning of the fourth set, with games going on serve. The best chance of a break was Djokovic at 4-3, but Nadal saved three break points and was able to level at four games all. Just after that game, the heavens opened and play was delayed while the court was cleaned up. Djokovic wasn't affected, holding serve with one of the shots of the match. Nadal continued to fight and the set went to a tie break. It was Djokovic setting the pace in the tie break, grabbing a decisive lead. But Nadal fought back, roaring into the breaker to level at 5 all. The Spaniard levelling the match at two sets all. The fifth set was a battle of attrition, neither player giving an inch, the first break going to Nadal. But again Djokovic rose from the canvas to break back immediately. The capacity crowd on Rod Laver Arena wasn't going anywhere despite it being one in the morning. We also crossed the mark for the longest match at the Australian Open. The decisive moment in the final set coming with Djokovic breaking to go 6-5 up. The world number one was able to serve it out and take his third Australian Open title in five hours and 53 minutes in the greatest final in Australian Open history. It was also the longest match in Grand Slam final history and a fitting way to win the 2012 Australian Open tournament.